Hey, pleasant good Easter morning, everybody, to those who celebrate. This is going to be a quick video on the Minnesota Timberwolves taking down the Memphis Grizzlies as an upset in Game 1 of this series as the Grizz lose at home and the T-Wolves win on the road as the T-Wolves are led by their stud, Carl Anthony Towns, at 29-13-3 as the first star of the Actually, no, he would probably be the second star of the game. I should actually crow on that. The second star of the game to Anthony Edwards absolutely being baller, hitting threes, hitting step-back shots. Six assists, two rebounds, 36 points um, from the three-point line. He was, uh, let's see here, four for 11, but had a couple key three-pointers in the game. Anthony Edwards was just an all-around scorer in this game. And then Beasley also did great. McDaniels did great with 15. Beasley had 23. Russell only had 10. Beverly had 10, 6, and 6. Plus a steal on a block. Obviously, that's what you want to see from Patrick Beverly. And Carl Anthony Towns got a thumb, so they got a great spread around effort <clears throat> um, when it came to the play. The Timberwolves, it wasn't just one guy in Towns or one guy in Edwards. It was also then 23 points from Beasley, 15 from McDaniels, an extra 5 from Prince, 10 from Russell and Beverly uh, to equal 20 combined with those two. So it was a combined team effort for the Minnesota Timberwolves. And that, for me, is the biggest takeaway because that's how this team is going to have to win if they're going to upset Memphis as a whole. It's going to have to be, yes, they could just rely, I guess, on Anthony Edwards or Cat heavily in one game. But it's not like Cat's Joe on beat or Jokic. He's very good, but he's not to that level. And it's not like Anthony Edwards is at the level even of this point to being 100% every game in your mind, probably consistently Donovan Mitchell or consistently one of the best scores where it's great to see him go off like that and go ballistic like that and have the fantastic 21.3 average season uh, this year that Anthony Edwards was able to have. But in perspective, he's still only 20 freaking years of age. So you don't want to over rely on him either. So there kind of has to be a combined effort if you're the Minnesota Timberwolves. And that was the biggest takeaway for me. The first star is just the overall greatness of team effort and then Anthony Edwards. And then you have Rudy Gobert falling into place there. Uh, as well as Beasley with the Stars for the Minnesota Timberwolves to get them over the hump in this game. They played very good defensive ball as well. Obviously, having Patrick Beverly on the team helps mightily with that. Having Carl Anthony Towns, who's continued to get better on both ends and not just offense, um, compared to Nikola Jokic, who still hasn't improved on the defensive end oh too much. But Towns has started to do that. Um, that showed a little bit in this game as well. He made some key defensive plays, but the Timberwolves, fantastic first game. As for the Memphis Grizzlies, it looked like for a period of time, because of John Morant and Dylan Brooks, they were going to be able to come back. Brooks had 24, John Morant had 32 to finish the out. Clark also had 13, and Jackson had 12. So they had some decent spread out scoring as well, and then Bain had 17. So they did have some decent space out scoring if you're Memphis. But they kind of went down too much early, started coming back a little bit because of Morant, um, especially, um, and also because of Dylan Brooks. But it was kind of, once they came back, Minnesota still had an answer for their run. And obviously, basketball is a game of runs, basically. So then the final run was by the Minnesota Timberwolves, where then they just never looked back and then was able to just smack them around the joint to end the game. And then they won 130-117, to 117, and it was really no contest by the end of it, um, where the Minnesota Timberwolves really took advantage of the Memphis Grizzlies and their lack thereof of organized defense in this game, where they kind of got lost um, on defense in this game, were not able to pick up guys, not even just after screens, but just in general, not really picking up guys for their teammates. Um, where if I think the biggest thing for the Grizz going into the next game is play one better overall team defense, continue to have performance from Brooks and from John Morant, and then obviously um, have better all-around um, play in terms of stopping Anthony Edwards first and foremost, because you know Cat's going to get his, you know Edwards is going to get his, but he's averaged 21, you let him get all the way up to 36. So you obviously have to supplant him a little bit, and that would be my key for the Grizzlies to being able to try to win game two. But game one, they got smoked out of their joint in their home stadium. It looked like they were going to come back a little bit because of Moran and Brooks, but not to be, as the Timberwolves and Carl Anthony Towns, Anthony Edwards, and Beasley, who were the stars of the game for them, 
Get it done, 130 to 117. Have a great, safe, and pleasant Easter, everybody. For those who celebrate, please need to subscribe to below. Above these, you widget. Keep scrolling to 230 or more by the end of April to meet our goal. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.